We are so happy to have you in our program at Loke World. Um, it's exciting to have someone from the State Department speak because of all of the things that we have in common and the things that we don't have in common in the world of localization. What prompted the language services from the State Department to come to Loke World? The Office of Language Services in the State Department is attending Lock World for the first time this year in Monterey. Uh, with 243 years of history behind us and serving every U.S. President and Secretary of State, we're constantly looking for ways to stay young and ahead of the industry trends. So Lock World has thus become a natural venue for us to visit. The language industry is witnessing unprecedented changes. At Lock World, we're hoping to connect with colleagues from many sectors of our industry to absorb the best practices that optimize these changes. And as one of the technology pioneers in the federal government, we're also hoping to share our own story and our own experiences. I love the fact that the language services department is one of the drivers of technology. That's, that's great. Kudos. <laughs> um, We've all seen uh, how our language industry is changing. Uh, we thought it was really amazing when neural language <laughs> became in and now we have AI and it's affecting all of us. How do you see this affecting your operation at the department? Well, for one thing, anyone working in the current and future language industry must be thoroughly proficient in the widest array of language technology and ready to pivot quickly as this technology evolves. And while there's plenty of room in the future for professionals who specialize as translators, interpreters, or project managers, there will be ample room for those who can combine one or more of these skill sets. In other words, I believe we will see a convergence of skill among language specialists in the future. The other thing that I see is a change that is happening on a much bigger scale. By utilizing technology, I believe we can make communication much more accessible to everyone around the world. Communication requires resources. By utilizing technology, we can make communication much more affordable and accessible for many people. This means we can help deliver our messages more widely to those who did not or does not have the resources to understand foreign languages or foreign cultures. So this is a very exciting time for all of us. Indeed, indeed. Um, we have these all these new applications and opportunities, but also there are challenges and um, perhaps fearsome challenges to interpreters and translators in the department. Um, how do you sense their uh, apprehension regarding technology? It is true that our interpreters and translators worry about the impact of technology on their jobs because there is no question that technology and AI will have an impact. However, in our office, we provide a lot of upskill training to make sure our teams stay agile and skilled up to embrace current and future technologies. Our goal is to make sure that our workforce is at the center of everything we do and that our technology transition is a human-centered transition. Uh, this is very important to us because it is critical for us to embrace technology, but more importantly, we need to embrace it in a secure and responsible manner. <laughs> 